to an intense engagement with the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance partners, PA signed a pre-election agreement detailing how the three agenda items will be addressed immediately Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance forms government after the 2022 general elections. And for avoidance of doubt, the agreement provides, amongst other things, that upon winning the presidential election scheduled for the 9th of August 2022, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance administration shall ensure the following within the 2022-2027 development cycle. Number one, reverse all operational changes that have, carried, that have been carried out in the recent past, whose effect has, has been to relocate some of the core activities of the Kenya's main seaport from Mombasa to inland depots in Nairobi and Naivasha. To this end, the necessary administrative and legislative measures shall be undertaken within a year effective 9th August 2022. As you're aware, the port operations have all been moved inland, and that has caused immeasurable sufferings to the people of the coast region, and the need to reverse that. Two, put in place necessary reforms to ensure the port of Lamu brings measurable employment and other economic benefits to the local communities. Three, revive the cashewnut, coconut, and bixia industries, especially in the coast region by funding the same. Four, involve local communities in the management and benefit sharing of the resources associated with the blue economy. Five, establish a benefit sharing arrangement between the national government and the local communities in the coast region in respect to mining and other natural resources. Six, review the Coast Guard Act and other laws to en enhance the protection of local communities' fishing and other economic activities. Number seven, address the historical land injustices, especially at the coast, including necessary reforms of relevant laws and the setting up of a land compensation fund to assist the locals to progressively acquire or purchase land from absentee landlords. To this end, budgetary allocations shall be provided for to achieve these aims effective 9th August 2022 for the entire five-year period. Number eight, promote inclusivity of residents of the coastal region into the management and equitable benefit sharing of the national assets located at the coast. Lastly, ensure equitable representation of residents of the coast region in national government appointments and the equitable representation in all card of civil service, disciplined forces, Kenya's diplomatic staff, and all sectors of the public service. So these are the core issues that PA brought to Kenya Kwanzaa, and we are happy to announce that all these issues have been captured well in the written agreement that was signed on the 8th of May between PA and Kenya Kwanzaa. Now, for the reasons outlined above, we have no doubt that once Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance forms government, a new chapter that will, br that will bring hope to our people will officially begin. You must have noted in my statement that our coming to Kenya Kwanzaa has got nothing to do with individual positions. We are not interested. Ours is to make sure the problems facing our people are given priority. The issues that are always a campaign issue, that everyone coming to the coast, because they know we have land problems, they'll promise us that once I become president, I'll handle the land question. For over 60 years, prior to independence and even after independence, that has always been a promise of anyone wanting to get the two million votes at the cost. Today, the coastal person is saying we are not taking nothing short of a written commitment. 
and we're happy that we couldn't get this in Azimio, but Kenya Kwanza have agreed, and indeed they've done it. They have put this as a commitment that if we win, and we're going to win the 9th of August 2022 elections, these issues are not just a promise, they are commitment. It is a covenant between Kenya Kwanzaa and the people of Coast. We have no reason as a, re as a region to go elsewhere other than Kenya Kwanzaa. We absolutely feel our plight, that our pain will be eased in the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. The coastal chapel they're looking for is to end the derogatory and demeaning title of being called squatters in an independent country. That has to end. And it cannot end through promises. It can only end through commitment to walk that journey. And we're happy that that journey has officially begun. Now, for this to happen, Kenya Kwanza must form government. And that's why I call upon my brothers and sisters in Coast Region that the failing of Kenya Kwanza to capture government on the 9th of August 2022 will spell doom to us as a region. If Kenya Kwanza goes down on the 9th of August 2022, so will our dream as a region. We have a commitment in Kenya Kwanza. We have rhetorics on the other side. <laughs> that is the difference. We have been accused of all sorts after signing this agreement that we've been playing both sides. We have been told that we were demanding to get a copy of the agreement because we wanted to use it to benchmark. To benchmark what? Mm. <laughs> Kenya Kwanza and Azmio are two different legal entities. Absolutely. One is a political party, the other is a coalition. Absolutely. So how do you benchmark the two? <laughs> if you want to fly a plane, you don't go to a car yard to benchmark. But we know why we're here. Our reason to come to Kenya Kwanza is the driven by the desire to finally find a solution to the problems facing our people. Securing positions, we could have secured individual positions in Azimio. But that is not our intention as par. And I've been telling people that, in fact, our first intention was not to form a political party. At the time power was being formed, this country had over 80 political parties. But we felt there was something missing. None of these parties felt the pain the cost person was, fail, was, was feeling. And therefore, power was born. Power is more than a political party. Nikileo Chahaki. Tunalilia haki na safari ya kupata haki yetu emeanza. The first thing is you need to trust your partner. If you're not willing to commit in writing, then you don't mean well for us. You don't mean well to us. If you really want to address the problems facing the coastal person, why is it so difficult to commit it in writing? But they can't. Why? Because they know they won't do it. Mm. 
that will not be tolerated by our people. And this time around, our people have said, look here, we are not going to accept nothing short of a written commitment. And thank you, Deputy President. Thank you with your Kenya Kwanzaa uh, Alliance team for accepting to put these issues and taking them as a commitment that once you're sworn in as the fifth president of this country, you will address these issues. Not everybody who calls upon the Lord's name will go to heaven. Not everybody who calls himself the fifth <laughs> becomes the fifth. Power today brings to this team a lot of determination and energy to win the elections. That's what we bring to this team. We bring good faith. To the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance team, as a party, we have just walked away from dishonesty. We hope you don't find it here. We have walked away from mistrust. We hope we don't get it here. We have walked away from political deceit. We hope we don't get it here. We hope that respect and trust will be the glue that binds this alliance. In power, you have a formidable partner. In power, we talk less and do more. We will do whatever is within our powers to look for votes where we can. Signing of this agreement, or other agreements, is the easiest thing to do. Everybody can sign a coalition agreement, but not everybody can win an election. We have done the easy part, Bwana Chief Hasla. We have done the easy part of signing this agreement. It is the easiest thing to do. Now, we need to fold the sleeves, go to the villages, scale the mountains, descend the valleys, and bring the presidency home. It can be done, and it shall be done with God on our side. Waswahili anasema kupanda mchongoma si ngoma. Ngoma ni kushuka mchongoma. Kutia mikataba kama hii si huja. Mtu yote yule anaweza kutia sahihi mikataba kama hii. Lakini kilichobaki ni kufunga vibwebwe, kukunja mikono ya mashati, kukunja masuruale yetu na tukubali kuingia katika mashimo, kwenda vitongojini, kupanda milima, kuteremka mabonde, kwa kisha kwamba tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane, tuna kuchagua kama rais wetu wa jamhuri ya Kenya kama rais wa tano na tunajua kwa nguvu ya Mwenyezi Mungu amen utapishwa kama rais wa tano wa jamhuri ya Kenya sisi hatupigi kifua hiyo ni biashara ya kule tulikotoka sisi hatumimini wala kumwaga matusi hiyo ni biashara tuliacha kule tumetoka 
sisi tumekuja kwa unyenyekevu na heshima na ombi letu ni kwamba yale yote ambayo yamefanya tuchukue virago tuje hapa tusiyapate mambo haya katika upande huu na uzuri ni kwamba tumepata hakikisho sahihi kwamba katika sehemu hii ama katika Kenya Kwanza Alliance heshima ndio kitu cha kwanza respect hiyo ndo tunahitaji manake Mungu japo akatumba tofauti lakini sote ni viumbe vyake na tunastahili kuheshimu ama kumheshimu mwanzako kwa hivyo kama pa sisi tuko tayari kuchana mbuga kama pa tutapaa kama ule pa ule mbugani kwa kisha kwamba baada ya kupaa huku kote tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mwaka huu tunatua katika ikulu ya jamhuri ya Kenya ukiangalia yale matakwa yote ambayo nimezungumzia kutoka kuhusu wakazi wa pwani hii yote inaashiria kitu kimoja tu kumtoa mtu wa kawaida kumtoa mwananchi wa kawaida kutoka hali ya ufukara na kumleta katika hali ambayo anaweza kumudu hali ya maisha nasikia hiyo hapa kwenu mnaita bottom up hapa mnaita hivyo sio we have to take the biggest population of this country that is wallowing in poverty from where they are from the state of hopelessness to a state where they can proudly say i'm a kenyan and i believe with what pa stands for and what kenya kwanza stands for kenyans have reasons to smile once kenya kwanza demonstration is in place we thank you and may god bless you thank you Very good, uh, my good brother, uh, Amazon Jeffa Kingi, and uh, the Kenya, and the um, Pamoja African Alliance team. Um, two things. The party leader of PA has confirmed that we have made a commitment as Kenya Kwanza, that the issues they have brought to the table on matters to do with land, on matters to do with the economy of the coast uh, region, on matters to do with public service um, inclusivity uh, for the people from the coast region, are matters that we have not only agreed, but we have made as a commitment uh, by Kenya Kwanza. And we have signed into that commitment because we have every intention, commitment, and belief that we will deliver on this commitment. And I want to uh, confirm to the Pamoja African Alliance team that there is a world of a difference from where you are coming from and Kenya Kwanza. Kenya Kwanza is an alliance of Democrats, of the willing. I am sure you know on the other side, people are forced, coerced, blackmailed, and threatened to belong to the other side. When I hear the people on the other side saying there was an attempt at benchmarking, 
how can there be benchmarking between darkness and the light? There is nothing that we have in common with the people on the other side. The journey to the Alliance of the Willing already started when we had the first meeting with our PAR colleagues. Different from the agreement they signed on the other side, which they were never allowed to read, which they don't have a copy. Here, they had days to read the agreement we had with them. They even had days to improve on the agreement we had with them. And they have copies of the agreement we have signed with them. So there is a world of a difference between us and the other side. The other side use force, here we use respect. The other side are deep in secrecy, deceit, and conmanship. Here we are an open, transparent uh, coalition of Democrats, the free and the willing. So we want to tell our friends on the other side, good people, there is nothing that we share with your modus operandi. There is nothing to benchmark between Kenya Kwanzaa and uh, the, other co the, other, the other group. I also want to say that um, on the matters that uh, my good brother Amazon Kingi, on matters to do with the port, it was never the intention of the government of Kenya to build the SDR so that the coast can be impoverished. That was never the intention. In fact, the converse was the intention. The SDR was meant to make the port much more efficient, better, and to improve the business and the fortunes of the people in the coast. Unfortunately, a few, a few people took hostage the whole program and ended up with selfish programs that benefit a few people to the detriment of the entire population of the coast people. And we have made a commitment that administrative issues, legal uh, issues, uh, uh, we are going to undertake both administrative and legal um, steps to reverse what has become the biggest impoverishment of the people of Mombasa and the coast in its entirety. The commitment to having resources allocated so that the people of the coast can progressively begin to acquire land from absentee landlords is a commitment Kenya Kwanzaa has made to the people of the coast and to the people of Kenya. The issue of um, people living as quarters in their own country in the 21st century, 60 years or 50 something years after, elect after independence, is not something that anybody would want to second guess. That is a matter brought to the table by PA, and we have given a commitment as Kenya Kwanzaa that we will walk together beginning on the 9th of August to travel that journey and get the people of Kenya to be, uh, the people of the coast especially, and the rest of the people of Kenya to live in their country, not as quotas, but as citizens and owners of land in their country. So again, let me say, um, on all our behalf, we welcome uh, Pa and team to Kenya Kwanzaa. We give you our commitment that together with you, we will work tirelessly to change the foundation of our country and to get rid of deceit and 
conmanship from the politics of our country. It is the least we can do for the people of Kenya. Um, you have said uh, correctly uh, that you are committed to this journey and you will roll up your sleeves. And I want to tell you, we will walk together. We are as determined as you are in making sure that the elections of 9th August this year are won decisively by the Kenya Kwanzaa team. I told you earlier uh, that uh, those of us who are in Jubilee know how effective and how committed and how efficient you and your team are because we were victims in Kilifi especially, where as Jubilee, we didn't get even an MCA seat in that county because you worked so hard to make sure that the side you belong to that time won the election. So we are confident that if you bring the same zeal into Kenya Kwanzaa, we have no doubt in our minds that uh, Kilifi will be 98% Kenya Kwanzaa. And the rest of the coast will follow suit. Thank you very much. Let me maybe request uh, a few of our leaders just to say one or two things before we take some questions. Maybe I will start with uh, Hassan. Where is Hassan? Hassan, one minute, Hassan, from Lamu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa ndugizetu wa Christo, God is good all the time, and that is the nature of God. Sisi safari yetu imeanza mbali, lakini leo mashua tumeitoa kwenye kitanga tumeitia kwenye maji. Na kapteni yuko tayari, na chief captain wakoto unashandia yuko tayari. Na chief captain wetu ni Samoe Arab Truto. Na captain wajahazi yetu ni Amazon King Jeffa. Ndugi zangu, hii safari haikuwa ni rahisi. Lakini nataka kuambia kitu kimoja muhimu sana. Amazon Kefa, eh, King amekuwa akishauri kila memba wa pa tutatukua njia gani. Kuja kwake huku si akili yake yeye, ni akili ya watu wote wa pa. Kwa hivyo tumeingia sote sisi. Wala hatukulazimishwa. Mimi nataka kukuambia president wangu watano kwamba sisi Musa ana 12 commandment sisi zetu ni tatu tu si 12 waislamu wana nguzo tano zetu sisi ni ngapi tatu tu kwa hivyo ukizifanya tatu tutakwambia cost ni yako na sikwambi ni yako ni yetu kilifi Tana River lamu ambapo ninapotoka mimi Na nikisimama hapa mbele pia kiongozo wangu msali ya mundavadi lipokuwa mea. Yeye ndio alikuwa minister for local government. Na wewe ulikuwa minister for agriculture. Wakati ukipigwa vita, mimi peke yako ndio nilikuja airport kukutukua wewe. Ushafamu, kuonesha kwamba ile ni ya yetu pamoja. Mambo matatu. La kwanza ni ardhi, umiliki wa ardhi. La pili ni ushirikishaji katika serkali amba otaka ukuyunda. Ya tatu ni uchumi. Wapwani. Na sisi pa ni National Party, ni, ch ni, ch ni chama cha wapi, cha Kenya nzima. Lekinde kila kitu siki na muanzo wake. Kwa hivyo muanzo wa pa ni wapi, ni pwani. Na sisi pa letu ni la makuti. Lakini tukija kwenye kwanza, tutatutengezi tutatu ya mabamba na bloki. Kwa hivyo mvua hata upepo hata tupata. Lakini ujue sisi majauri na lile pa letu tulikata kulala sitting roomu. Kwa sabu si yetu huu. Sasa hapa mwume kubali mtatema mwanzo mtatupa savans kota siyo. Haya, kesho kuhuta mtajenga nyumba kubo tutaka hapa moja. Kwa hivyo mamo matatu. Mwume watukubalia na sisi tumewakubalia. Nataka kukuambia wana uh, president wangu watano. Wasoidi wasema wali wakushiba uonekana siniani. 
wewe unialika sini haina kitu nitakubali vipi kushiba vipi <laughs> lakini wewe umeniletea umeniambia hata gua huno pishori ya, ya nyeri ile haya mtoto wa pakistani huku nyama kuku kwa nini nisikae kula <laughs> <laughs> kwa hivyo tumekuja na sisi ni wacha Mungu sisi ni wacha Mungu kingi ni mcha Mungu na sote ni wacha Mungu tumemweka Mungu mbele kama unavyomweka wewe Mungu mbele kwa hivyo tumweke Mungu mbele hakuna jabali lolote litatupinga sisi wala hakuna bahari yoyote itatuchina sisi kuvuka wala hakuna hao mamba tunaodawa sisi tukitia mamba huondoka tutavuka pia kwa hivyo kwa hivyo la mwisho nikikwambia tu kwamba waswahili wana msemo wakaenda vitani usema farasi na nyangwa hizi usiandike kwa mate ikiwa kalamu na karatasi iko kwa nini watumia mate andika kwa kalamu na karatasi na hili wewe umetuhakikishia kwamba ushatuandikia umetufurahisha wajua ile ndoa ya kwanza ilikuwa ni ya mpango wa kando hii ya sasa ina kanisani na msikitini kwa hivyo ina blessing adhandu wale aelewe kisema maneno hayo kwa hivyo sitaki kusema mengi lakini naregelea nguzo zetu ni ngapi ni tatu na sisi watu wa pwani tuna uwezo tuna experience ya kuviongoza serikali kwa hivyo utakavyo kuform na kama alivyosema kingi hata sisi hatutaki kugawanywa vyeo sisi tutakawa tuapwani wapate na wakenya hizo vyeo si muhimu kwetu bila serikali yetu si kupanga vyeo kabla nyinyi hamtangu na tama zoezi mapanga namba 2 na namba 3 hamna mazoezi sisi mtafungwa kwenye timu sisi timu yote iko kwenye kuchangilia kwa hivyo sisi kama alivyosema party leader wangu sisi hatutaki vyeo si tutataka mambo matatu ile vyeo ukitupatia itakuwa kama salari huyu ya kila chakula nimemaliza haya ukisema bwana asifiwe thank you very much hassan asante sana wacha ni muulize ndugu yangu um, party leader wa ford kenya uh, moses wetangula tu aseme kwa mafupi asante sana ndugu rais wetu wa tano nimemsikiza rafiki yangu king kwa makini sana if a distinguished senior lawyer like um, Amazon King can sign an agreement and be denied to go away with a copy it tells you the depth and width of dishonesty and deceit with the people that you are dealing with here in Kenya Kwanza we are open we are transparent and we deal with each and every kenyan with dignity and we know that we are moving together in the right direction we have been growing through very steady phenomenal and incremental momentum that can only leave everybody concluding that victory is yonder and the joining of power in the Kenya Kwanza Alliance is just but another milestone that fortifies the belief trust and commitment of Kenyans in this change direction that we are giving Kenyans we are not looking for opportunities for leaders we are looking for change in the lives of the Kenyans that have lived in abject poverty due to acts of men and women through uncaring systems that have been in our midst so bwana king na timu yako tunawashukuru sana mwalimu nyerere alisema ni afadhali kuwa na uhusiano na mjinga kuliko kuwa na uhusiano na mpumbavu kwa sababu mjinga akijua shida inakwisha mpumbavu hata ukijaribu namna gani hakuna lolote atajua so mumeleta mambo kwa meza yetu wale ambao walikuwa hawajui hawakuwa wapumbavu walikuwa wajinga na sasa wamejua shida imekwisha We want to make sure 
that a Kenyan, wherever they are, whether in Vanga, at the tip of southern Kenya, or in Kibish, at the tip of northern Kenya, they all have access to the same care from the national government like everybody else. For too long, we have lived in a system where the spelling of your name matters more than the content of your brain. And this is the Kenya we are trying to change. So, Pa, our brothers and sisters from the coast, many of us have lived with you, practiced our professions with you. We appreciate and understand and feel your feelings, and you have just arrived where you belong. And those other friends of ours we are competing with will not change. There's no way you can teach old dogs new tricks. And as we say, problems shall never be solved by the same levels of thinking that created them. And that's why they cannot let you even see what you have signed. I was amused to see today in the papers, they say they allowed you to look at the document. <laughs> they don't say they allowed you even to read the document. They allowed you to look at the document. Here you have drafted the document, you have signed the document, and you walked away from the signing table with a copy of the document. That is the difference, like day and night. And we will only assure you, uh, Amazon King and your team, that Kenya Kwanzaa with our captain, William Samoy Ruto, have no history of betraying people at any level in our country. And we will carry this commitment to the future with dignity and with fairness to all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me ask Ambassador Sophie from Kilifi to just uh, make a small statement. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, thank you so much. Uh, my party leader and all the leaders, I just want to say this on behalf of uh, the women in Kilifi County and the women leaders uh, from Kil in, at the coast, that this is a marriage. This is what we've been expecting and we were all looking forward. Much has been said, uh, my party leaders have said uh, all about what we've been doing on the ground, but I just want to assure you, uh, our president, incoming president, the fifth president, that we are up to the task and we will take whatever it takes that we will dedicate this seat, the presidential seat, that as the people of Kilifi, we will definitely deliver. Thank you, Your Excellency, and we're looking forward to see you soon at the coast. Thank you. Asante Sana, let me ask one more good lady, the incoming Governor of Embu, uh, Madam Cicely Mbarire. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we are really grateful to welcome a new partner in the Kenya Kwanzaa movement and in the Kenya Kwanzaa family. Let me say this as a woman. When a woman gets married and the man marrying her is willing to take her to church or to the mosque and announce to the whole world that they will be with you through thick and thin, times of good health and bad health, then you know that man is very serious. And that is the marriage we are witnessing today. A marriage of issues that we are willing to tell the world. Not a marriage of positions, but ensuring that the people of Kenya become the agenda for us as the leadership of this country. I'm glad that this is a journey we started quite a while ago. And I remember when we first had our first meeting with His Excellency, the President, the Deputy President, and the next President of this country, we, the people of the mountain, told him we were more keen about the issues affecting our people more than the positions. And you can hear that is the rallying call across the country, that people are tired of being told you're safe in our hands because your guy sits at the top. People want to know they are safe because their issues have been taken on board 
and they'll be taken care of. And therefore, Your Excellency, this is the journey we want to walk with you, a journey of trust. We want to add the politics of deceit. We have exactly three more months to kick out politics of personalization, politics of positions, and politics of deceit, and bring in the politics of issues that affect our people. I am extremely impressed by Governor Kingi, his commitment to the issues affecting the people of coast, and therefore it is time for the people of coast to know who really means well for them and who puts their issues before their own positions. That's really a great show of maturity, and we look forward to delivering a Kenya Kwanzaa government that is issue and people-centered. Thank you. Asante Sana. Uh, we have a very big team here, but I will share the next uh, four or five minutes among us uh, three good people. Let me ask the chairman of UDA, uh, um, Johnson Mudama, to come and just make some brief remarks. And then uh, I will ask uh, Rigadi Gashagwa to also come and make some very brief remarks and then the Speaker of the National Assembly, and then I will ask uh, our brother Musalia to conclude. Mimi sita sema tofauti na yale ya mesungumza kwa sababu lenguletu ni moja na matumaini yetu ya naelekea pahali pamoja. Lakini cha muhimu ni kwamba nyumba ya Kenya kwanza inaendelea kukua inakuwa kwa kuwaleta wa Kenya pamoja na vile mmesikia matumaini yetu ni kuunganisha taifa ili liwe taifa la mtu mmoja na taifa moja tunajua kwamba vile mheshimiwa kingi amesema kukubali mkataba ni kitu rahisi mno lakini kufanya kazi na kuhakikisha kwamba tumeshinda hapo ndio kuna kazi kwa hivyo tutatembea taifa nzima tukiunganisha wa Kenya wanapaa ndeni kwa kuja na kukubali kuandamana na sisi kwa sababu mliko toka nyenye sisi tulikuwa kule na tulikuwa kule pamoja na nyinyi na kasi iliyofanywa pwani ile naib wa rais anasema sasa tulifanya pamoja na tulichangia kuhakikisha kwamba NASA imefagilia viti vyote na kulikuwa kuna nafasi ya jubilee kwa hivyo sasa huko tumesoma tumeangalia tumegundua kwamba huku ni nafasi za kinafsi na watu wanaojitakia makuu na haja zao wenyewe hapa chini ya naibu wa rais mheshimiwa Ruto ambaye atakuwa rais wa tano ni kuangalia maslahi wa, ya wa Kenya na tunasimama na hayo let me also thank the Ford Kenya team ANC team from because they started coming in and together we have come where we are and we continue uh, uniting this country thank you very much your excellency Thank you very much. This is a meeting of convergence and Governor Kingi and your team. We are very happy and very impressed because the same motivation that has guided you in the decision that you have made is the same that guided us from the mountain four years ago. Issues that we shall be with a leader with a formation that prioritizes the issues affecting our people. More so the guaranteed minimum return for our cash crops, coffee, tea, milk, rice, mira. We have been intimidated to move from that position and we have been very firm that we are only ready to partner with that leader, with that coalition that will address the issues that affect our people. Governor and your people, there has been a misconception as you pursue the last question, 
there has been a misconception at the coast that we, from, we people from the mountain took away your land. That is not the case. When you are with us, feel comfortable. We are also victims. The few people from the mountain who took the land from the coast people also took land from the Mau Mau and from the peasants from the mountain. So as you pursue the land question, we are partners. Number two, the issue of the Port of Mombasa, the perception that the business has been diverted from the coast to the disadvantage of the coast people to favor the people of Naivasha and Nakuru is not true. The port that has been taken to Naivasha is in somebody's land. It is a private diversion. It has nothing to do with us. So as we pursue that together, we are victims together, and we shall work together for a common purpose. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Mr. Speaker, just briefly. Thank you, Your Excellency, and uh, I must say that I'm um, quite happy this morning to indeed uh, be part of the welcoming team to our brothers from the uh, PA and generally the coast uh, region. And I believe uh, the statement by Brother Kingi is a testimony to the fact that uh, contrary to some uh, claims that the coast is somebody's bedroom, it is indeed somebody else's uh, home. And therefore, you cannot go to somebody's home and purport to claim any bedroom there. We will work with you, uh, Governor Kingi, and your team. And as you've said, we want to roll up uh, our sleeves and uh, walk the talk. You are joining a team, a coalition of the willing mm -hmm. and free. Mm -hmm. I did say on the day that I also joined that I have come freely without any conditions and that uh, therefore those that may have assumed that they have uh, a hold on how we think or how we do things are going to get a shock of their lives. And I, I'm sure with the brother Musali of Davanti recently, two weeks ago, we did, it, we did predict the crumbling of that other side. And uh, today is testimony of uh, that prediction. We will work with you. We will correct the ills that have happened. And this is the team to do it. Thank you very much. Can you say just one, one minute? Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. And uh, we are happy to receive uh, more parties, including PA, that share our vision and our objective. And I think uh, Kenyans will see that uh, this coalition of the willing and the free is a coalition of members who in one way or the other over the last 10 years in their respective corners, political corners, were victims of political deceit and conmanship and blackmail and intimidation. As from Jubilee, I think the Deputy President uh, is a clear manifestation of what we went through in our corner. And uh, Honorable Musali and Honorable Wetangula and Jefferson Kingi and many others are also a clear manifestation of the people they are dealing with. But I want to say it one, in one minute, Your Excellency, that going forward, and that's why you see Kenya Kwanza doing county forums it is the people to decide, the next government. That today we are talking about the people of coast region, which we share many, uh, those of us from the north. So when we go to the north, we will tell the people of the north what is their interest, what successive governments never provided. 
we will talk about the extrajudicial killing by the state among the coast and northeastern counties. We will talk about how the economies of those people have been destroyed. We will discuss with the people, those who suffered citizen registration and discrimination, both in coast and in the north. And I'm sure all the problems that Kenyans are facing are found in the other corner. You know, when I met Honorable uh, Governor Kingi, I told him, you know, when you discuss the issue of the port, when you discuss the issue of land, when you discuss the issue of the blue economy, you are going to the owners of that problems. You know, the guys who own land issues, the guys who perpetuated land issues, guys who transferred and killed. And I hope Governor Joe is listening to me. And today there's a world of difference between Kingi and Joe. Joe decided to go to bed those who perpetuated injustice against the people of the coast. Whether it is Mombasa and the port, whether it is Lamu uh, in terms of extrajudicial killing and quale, whether it is the land issue. So today I think, Honorable Kingi, you, are, you will be counted, and I'm sure history will give you a space when it is written that you forgo your personal interests and you decided to join the team that led by Honorable the Deputy President. And this team, forget about the document we signed. Each and every member of this team, even our MCS, have a direct and restricted access to our candidate. Not in the other corner where you have to meet brokers and brokers and cartels before you reach the owners of that uh, Kuzimia thing. Thank you, uh, Your Excellency. Let me finally ask our good brother, Musalia Mudavadi, to make uh, the final remarks. Thank you, uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President. Um, I'll be very brief. Uh, first of all, I just want to enjoin my colleagues in Kenya Kwanzaa in extending our congratulations and appreciation to Governor Kingi and his entire team of power. His statement has been very clear. His training is that of a lawyer, and he made sure that the points were properly articulated. I can only plead to the members of the Fourth Estate, please make sure that we don't see any extra comma or distortions in the statement that has been made by Amazon. Kingi. The second thing I want to highlight is that uh, Ndugu Kingi and your team, we are both delighted and humbled. Today in your statement, we have seen a reincarnation of the wisdom and vision of Ronald Ngala and the courage of Carissa Maitha. You have come out so powerfully on behalf of the people of the coast region. You have done something that you may not know the full impact yet, but you have said no to the politics of hostage taking. Politics of hostage taking. There are so many people in Azimio, and what Pa has done, to tell you the truth, is to send a very strong signal to those who are still being held hostage and suffering under that bondage that they can actually set themselves free. So please, Kenyans, let us take this as a very significant milestone in our politics. 
a very big day for Kenya Kwanzaa, a very big day for the coast region, a very big day for all Kenyans that we have to chart our own destiny. Finally, let me just add that those guys, Yakuzimia, please, for the media, keep on bringing this out. They are a coalition party. We are a coalition of parties. Please keep defining that distinction. And we are very flexible. For those who may not have joined us because of the deadline of 8th, when you are submitting, the coalition document uh, has now passed us. But there is a very clear provision, especially from Kenya Kwanzaa, that we are also ready to engage in post-election coalition agreements. So if anybody, for some reason, was still being held hostage and they felt that time has run out, we want to tell you time has not run out. You can join the Kenya Kwanzaa team, campaign with us, work with us, and we shall execute a post-election arrangement with you. Thank you so much. God bless you all. And once again, hats off to PA and the people of Coast Region. Asante Sant. I think that marks the end of uh, this press conference, but uh, there is a small ceremony which uh, the good professor, Professor Abraham Gidure Kindiki, uh, is going to conduct. Lakini kabla hajafanya hiyo sehemu ya mwisho, uh, wakati nimewasikiza hawa ndugu wakiongea hapa, um, nimepata kuona ya kwamba kuna tofauti mkubwa sana kati ya wapinzani wetu na Kenya kwanza. Na kama vile ndugu uh, Amazon King alivyo sema, uchaguzi kwa wa Kenya tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane ni wazi kabisa kati ya marafiki zetu wa upande ule mwingine ambao wanaweza kuwa na mkataba ati viongozi waweke sahihi mkataba hawajasoma hawaijui hawana nakala katika karne ya ishirini na moja. it is shocking that in the 21st century anybody can expect and can force leaders to sign a coalition agreement which they have not read which they have not uh, uh, internalized and which they have no copy. That is the height of deceit. This country has sunk to new levels of deceit and conmanship. Na tunauliza, kama hawa marafiki zetu, wanaweza kuwatapeli viongozi, wanaweza kuwafanyia ukora na kuwadanganya, je na wananchi watawafanya nini si hao wananchi watawahangaisha na kuwafanya watumwa na hiyo ndio uchaguzi wa Kenya wako nayo tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane. wale ambao wanawatapeli viongozi na kuwafanyia ukora na kuwadanganya na kuwafanya wananchi eti kuwa watumwa wao kupitia kwa mambo ya udanganyifu na Kenya kwanza ambayo tumeweka mambo yetu wazi mikataba yote tumeandika yako wazi na tumeweka commitment sio kwa mambo ya viongozi lakini kwa mambo ya wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya so the choice for the people of Kenya is as open and as clear as day is from night and that is the uh, discussion and that is a contest the people of Kenya will be faced with on 9th August this year. Professor.
Excellency William Ruto, all leaders present, both from Kenya Kwanzaa and PAA, which is the latest member of this coalition, I want to say four quick things in one minute. One, I confirm that the coalition agreement entered into between Kenya Kwanzaa and PAA was an agreement agreed upon freely without any inducement, coercion, threats, intimidation, blackmail, or anything of that nature whatsoever. And I confirm that much of that agreement was a product of the valuable input from PAA leadership and their lawyers. In that connection, I want to thank those who have worked with me to realize this uh, agreement. Steve Kithi from PAA and Kipchumba Murkomen from Kenya Kwanzaa are the lawyers who helped us put this together. Number two, I confirm to the nation that this agreement was signed on 8th of May 2022, and therefore what you'll see here shortly is just a ceremonial display of that agreement, but it was signed on 8th May 2022 in accordance with the deadline set under the law. Three, I reaffirm what has been said by His Excellency Msalim Davadi, that although the window for pre-election coalitions was closed on Sunday, the legal window for post-election coalition is open. And in fact, we do not have to wait for the election to enter those agreements. They can be entered now with a post-election uh, post in mind. And therefore, we call upon all those political parties out there who feel oppressed, who feel cajoled, who feel shortchanged, blackmailed, and conned, that we are willing and available 24-7, effective now, to sign post-election coalitions with as many of you as possible. Karibuni sana. Finally, I also want to confirm to the nation that this agreement is free of any legal encumbrances because PAA moved to court and as, as we speak, the court has frozen and temporarily suspended the attempted illegal and forceful joinder of PAA to the Azimio group pending the final determination of this matter. So there are no legal encumbrances as we speak. I want to assure our members and our opponents that that matter which is pending final determination, which has been filed by PAA and their members, is so lethal. In fact, I foresee that that case will bring down the other group just as BBI collapsed. But let us wait and see. But I can tell you, without fear of contradiction, the days of those who have obtained the consent of others through threats, intimidation, malice, coercion, and concealment of material facts, their days are numbered. For now, 
We soldier on and welcome on board. PAA, welcome to Kenya Kwanza. It is now my singular honor and duty to invite the team leader of Kenya Kwanza, who is our presidential candidate, His Excellency William Ruto, to perhaps a step uh, one step forward together with Governor Amazon Kingi on behalf of PAA for a symbolic exchange of documents and a photo opportunity. And after that, the other leaders of Kenya Kwanzaa and PAA will join them in that photo. Your Excellencies, Je uh, Jefferson Kingi and William Ruto. I will take one or two questions uh, from the good people of the for the state.
our technician there. No, but I, you can hear this one, but you can't hear that mic. Okay. Thank you very much, Jeff. Um, as you have heard, Kenya Kwanzaa is built on the foundation of issues to do with the people. The issue of the running mate is an important one, but that issue doesn't give us uh, um, sleepless nights because we are an alliance built on people issues, not on positions for leaders. So our issue of the running mate is the easiest of the issues that are on our table. The issues that exercise our minds, the issues that give us sleepless nights are the people issues, like the ones that have been brought on the table by our good friends from uh, PA. Those are the issues that exercise our minds, the issues about the, con uh, the whole concept of how we are going to change the foundation of our, of our politics, on how we are going to move on with the transformation of our economy so that the economy works for every Kenyan. I want to assure you that as Kenya Kwanzaa and as a candidate in the next general election, we will have our running mate um, uh, forwarded to the IEBC before the deadline. Is not, is As a key leader and political stakeholder, speaking the top forces in the country, owing to the toppling up of all parties, forming the Union Party, which is the ethnic personalization of the country and unifying Kenya, that dream is very concerned with the party that you formed on the 10th of September 2016. You're now bringing in many political parties under the coalition that now is the Kenya Electric Force. What assurances and guarantees? Thank you very much. Uh, let me first say that the people you see here are the people who believe in political parties as institutions of governance in Kenya. And we are committed to building the politics of Kenya on the basis of political parties that have an agenda, a program, and a manifesto on matters to do with the issues of the people of Kenya. You have said correctly that we formed the Jubilee uh, Party on the same premise, but you are also acutely aware that the Jubilee Party was hijacked by crooks and conmen and cannibalized into what it is today. And, and you know those characters. They, they, they did everything. They chased everybody. They um, made it not possible for those of us who are in Jubilee to continue being members of Jubilee. That is why today 90% of what was in Jubilee is in Kenya Kwanzaa. And that is clear testimony that uh, 
there was a problem that made Jubilee what it was. In this formation, and that is why this formation continues to grow, the deceit that we were subjected to in Jubilee is what is absent in this formation. That's why we are saying we are committed to reconfiguring the politics of our country so that it is on the basis of political parties as institutions of governance, on the basis of a program and an agenda about the people of Kenya. That was the original intention of Jubilee, but when Jubilee was hijacked by characters who had other ill intentions, and that is why the program we had as a party, the Big Four plan that would have created jobs for young people using our housing program, the plan we had on matters to do with universal health coverage, the plan we had on agricultural transformation, the plan we had on manufacturing, agro-processing, value addition, that whole plan collapsed when the party was hijacked by people who had sinister, selfish intentions. And that is why we ended up in a conundrum called BBI that ended up at a place called Null and Void. So that, that's, 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 that's where, where the whole thing fell apart. And that is why we are re-engineering the politics of our country and PA is now a big stakeholder together with all the other parties that, we are, uh, that forms this alliance as we take the country to the next level. And let me also say that um, uh, whatever was, uh, uh, was said in, uh, in, the, in the Jubilee uh, N NDC by all the speakers there, many people mistook Jubilee for a honest political formation. But surely, even if it were you, after you have been told, you have been blindfolded and told to sign an agreement at night, an agreement you have not read, and an agreement that you, you don't have a copy, would you continue to be in that formation, if it, even if it were you? You know, if you are subjected to that kind of mistreatment and deceit and conmanship and deception, would you, would you continue to be in that kind of an arrangement? I think it's only fools who don't change their minds. When you are faced with a situation like the one that our brothers have been subjected to in the Asimio conundrum, you have no option but to make other informed choices as you move forward in the politics of our nation. But I'm sure Governor Kingi will. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. You're right. Precisely the point I made to you, my good brother, earlier. I told you, if as a leader, you can con fellow leaders, you can operate with deceit with fellow leaders, what are you going to do to with ordinary people? You're going to make them slaves. You know? and, and that is the foundation we want to remove. That is the foundation we want to get out so that we can build a foundation where every leader's word means something. And for your information, many of us standing here, our friends on the other side, have told us all manner of things. You know? Have you heard of something called Yangu Kumi? Have you heard of something like that? Did you hear of another guy saying, You know? Have you heard of those things? 
Do, do, do. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the thing we want to get rid of. We want every leader to be held to their word. Yes, madam? Vile umaona hapa katika mkutano huu tuko na governor kingi tuko na e, bwana Kithi ambaye anatafuta kiti ya governor kule e, Kilifi na tuko na mama Aisha Jumwa ambaye pia anatafuta kiti kule e, Kilifi hatujafanya makubaliano haya mahali ambapo kuna giza wao wamechangia katika e, sisi kuja pamoja kama pa na Kenya kwanza. So kuna maelewano ya vile tutaenda mbele kwa pamoja kama e, pa na kama Kenya kwanza. Na sasa tumeungana sasa pa na Kenya kwanza ni kitu kimoja na tutajipanga pale ndani. We know we know what to do. Sawa sawa? I think uh, good people. Let's say thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for uh, coming for this press conference. We value your partnership. We value what you do for the people of Kenya, making sure the people of Kenya are informed, and good luck with your job. Asante sana.